it just a coincidence the Nesquik cereal is shaped exactly like rabbit poops when their mascot is a rabbit? Hmm? Hmm? Did they do this intentionally? Were they like, how are we gonna design our chocolate flavored cereal? Like the rabbit poop. I mean, it's not very appetizing if that's what you're relating it to, but we can't help but think it. A picture of a hawk holding a fish, holding a littler fish. Coincidences in nature, wow. I love coincidences. This girl got the whole plane to herself. The whole plane. I would be like, Okay, I'm gonna switch over to this seat and then I'd lay down and then I'd like run over. Like, I don't even know what I'd do. I'd like probably like dance around in the hallways. I would just have a party by myself because what else are you gonna do? I mean, you could sleep, you could like do stretches in the hallway. Like the possibilities are endless and no one's there to judge you except for the flight attendants. And the flight attendants, they've seen some weirder stuff. So free to do whatever you want. This person's kitty knocked the fishy bowl right off the dresser, just like but guess what? Mr. Fishy over here, he lives to see another day. Cause the bowl didn't shatter and it fell perfectly in a way that some water still stayed inside and he's fine. He's fine. I mean, you're gonna have to flip it eventually because he still needs some oxygen getting into the water. The cat must have been very disappointed. This nurse just discovered that her colleague was actually a premature baby that she was taking care of 28 years years ago and now they're working together that is so crazy how life works out you never know who's just gonna end up right back in your life like no matter how much time passes that's why you should be nice to everybody this doggy found its doppelganger like literally the exact dog but opposite they're both missing eyes i'm so sad why does this happen how does this happen okay i don't want to know how but it dogs just go on and they live happy you know they don't care that they don't, they're missing an eye. They find ways to be happy, and that's why I love dogs. They're just... <sighs> My heart! It aches! I can't even look at it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stop looking before I start crying and embarrassing myself on YouTubes. This married couple in China discovered that they actually were in the exact same photo as each other when they were teenagers, and they didn't know. Like, they were in the same place, could have met then, but didn't meet then. Met years later, and then got married. Wow, talk about being at the right place at the wrong time. I don't know, but this is some crazy coincidences. I think so, at least. Call me crazy all you want. I mean, maybe a little, maybe I'm a little crazy. Isn't everybody a little crazy or is that just me? <laughs> so this news anchor is reporting on a robber search and the person has drawn a sketch and it turns out the sketch is him. Like him, exactly. Like there is no doubt about this. Like this is him. How awkward, he's like, <gasps> I've been caught. We got him, boys. Is it possible for you to look like a sketch? Like how accurate are these sketches? Like I need to know. Either way, this is really awkward. Like he'd have to do a lot of explaining. Like I swear it's not me, but everybody who's watching this is like, it's you. A pigeon pooped a portrait of itself on a leaf. I'm just surprised someone is picking up a leaf with poop on it. I don't care if the poop looks like a pigeon, like a unicorn. I don't care. I'm not picking up the leaf. What's this guy doing? Not only is he picking up a leaf with poop on it, but he's holding it for long enough to take a picture with it. What if all the bacteria crawls over from the poop and touches your hand? Okay, I, that's probably not gonna happen. But, but what if? I'm not taking any chances. I'm good over here away from the poopy leaves. The way all these newspapers are folded is not a coincidence. I repeat, this is not a coincidence. And you know what I think? I think this is a very big coincidence. If this is not a coincidence, then what is? So this person got married a month ago and they thought that they met for the first time 20 years ago. But turns out that their mothers used to be best friends. And when they were best friends, their children who were this couple had known each other. So they've met like since they were tiny little youngins and they didn't even know. Life works in mysterious ways. This dude went hiking and found the exact same frame that's on the cliff bar. He found it in real life. I just hope that guy hanging off the cliff still isn't hanging there. How did this happen? Not only is there three of the exact same car, like literally copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, all in a row on the same street, but even the house is the same color as the car. 
So it's like literally copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy. This is this is a head scratcher. Okay, I just really wanted to scratch my head, but yeah. This has to be planned, you know? Has to be. That's the only explanation. Wow. So the pattern match on the back of this person's phone is almost an exact continuation of the grain of the wood on this desk. Now this one is either a coincidence or they're gonna lift the phone up and there's gonna be a missing piece of wood there because they use that wood to make this phone case and that's the only possible explanation I can think of. At first I was like, wow, a tree fell and it just missed the car, but then I noticed a second tree fell. Two trees fell and completely missed the cars. It's time for you both to buy lottery tickets. And you know what? I don't believe in buying lottery tickets. And I'm gonna tell you why, because lottery tickets just like casinos, they aren't built on winnings. They're built on people losing. So yeah, somebody might win every now and then, but they make their money because the majority of people lose. So I don't really think playing the lottery and gambling is like a beneficial way. Like sure, if you want to do it for like fun every now and then, but if that's like your get rich plan, I'm sorry to say it, but the chances are very, very low. Like very low. I think you're better off like investing that time into working hard and finding your passion and doing something that you love. That's just my honest opinion. I mean, you don't have to listen to me. I'm just, I'm just some girl on YouTube, right? So that's, that's just my opinion. And I, uh... but these guys should buy a lighter ticket because if you're missing two trees like that, you've had a lucky day. Whoa, look how beautiful this dragonfly is. It's so pretty. And the coincidence is that it matches this person's pants exactly. It just landed there and it's like, look, we are the same. Maybe this isn't a coincidence. Maybe this dragonfly is simply just trying to camouflage with its environment. And it didn't find any blue flowers and it's like this person's pants. They look exactly like me. No predators will find me on this person's pants. I live here now. Imagine going to 7-Eleven and then spending exactly 7-Eleven. $7.11. I like it. I wonder if this was intentional. Like, do you think this person went in there and was like, I need to get a purchase of exactly 7-Eleven? Or do you think it's a coinkadink and they looked down at their receipt and they're like, 7-Eleven? I must post this to the internet. The internet must know. I think it was the second. Oh, I should change the name of this video to Quinkadinks because it's so much cuter than coincidences. There's just a lot of Quinkadinks. Okay, I'm sorry guys. If I'm being like extra weird today, it's because it's literally 1 a.m. right now <laughs> and I'm filming and when I film when it's late, I'm like, just really like, you know, I just feel a little weird, a little different. This is fan art one of you guys drew of me and I loved it so much. I'm like, this is my phone background now. <laughs> I love when you guys do that. I think it's so sweet. I'm just like, I die every time. Oh. The way the light is shining through this window looks like this UFO is about to abduct us all. And on that note, let's go to the next picture before it actually happens. This pebble that's exactly the shape of the holes on the bottom of this person's shoe fit in and got stuck perfectly. Like, I think it kind of deserves to be there. I think it belongs. This billboard says flippin' fantastic right in front of a car that has flippin' flippity floppity fantastically flopped. If this isn't the quinky dink, I don't know what is. So these two photographers took the exact same picture at the exact same time as the water smashed into this rocks and went through, except they were a little bit further apart from each other. And both of them were like, you stole my photo. Another person was like, you stole my photo. But it was just a massive coincidence. I don't know how this got proved, but if you look closely, there's like minor, tiny bit of differences, which show that it is in fact two different photos, but they're so similar and they were both so mad at each other, but this just goes to show sometimes. Quinta, quink, 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 happen? I'll stop saying quink, 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 because there's at least a few people who are very triggered and are like, <laughs> this person got a tattoo and then a pimple appeared right on the perfect spot that makes it look like a beautiful sunset. Nobody likes pimples, but if you're gonna get one, it might as well be a sunset. My pimples are never sunsets. My pimples are usually like, you know, third eyes or fifth eyes or whatever, you know? Always in the most awkward spot. It's always like right here. And I'm like, really? Do you really have to do that right here? This person was born with six feet and their coworker was born with four feet. Five feet. <laughs> I meant toes. Six toes and four toes. It's like one of them took the toe from the other person. <laughs> Honestly, I can't imagine how hard it'd be to buy shoes if you had six toes. I mean, it definitely makes you unique, but shoe shopping is already hard enough as it is. But they do make some shoes that like 
are a bit wider, so I'm assuming those would work. My mom and I went to Safeway to get some groceries, and we ran into my dad buying flowers for her. <gasps> Too cute! I've been cut. Being romantic. <laughs> Love it. These rival news stations are wearing the exact same outfits with the exact same haircuts on the exact same day. I bet this started some unintentional drama. I mean, for a second, I thought it was like the same person. I think they're sending out the same vibes in the universe. When the serial number on a pizza cutter is literally pizza. Well, I mean, it's P177A but it looks like pizza. I think they know what they're doing. This person found a 1992 Mountain Dew. So they open it up and I hope they didn't drink it because that, that's expired. But inside the cap, it was actually a winning cap and the prize was a Super Nintendo. I wonder if you could still cash it in. That would be awesome. Probably not. I feel like these contests expire. And here we got the perfect lineup. We got Taylor Swift. Are these trucks doing this intentionally? Are they sitting there having a good laugh? like? People behind us are gonna find this one funny. I think so. I would do it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other.